Sometimes we might need to change the architecture design of our Power Platform solution. And this situation becomes worse when our solution is already moved to the production. Hey everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my chair, Classy Power. Today I come up with one scenario where I found that our solution is already moved to the production environment and later we got one additional requirement which says that the existing column data type should need to change and our solution is already on the production so how we can do that so let me just take you to my screen here I have created one solution and I have two tab this environment is my lower environment where it has my unmanaged solution and the other tab belongs to my production environment for simplicity i have taken a solution that have only one table inside it that is the product table let an example earlier in the product table there was a column let it load there was a column whose name was load and it was expected to hold only the integer value or a whole number value but later in the next release our stakeholder told that they want that the same column should handle the decimal values also so how we can do that as this column is utilized at many places in data flows in cloud flows, many places it has been utilized we can't create the new column we can't delete this so how we can handle such type of scenarios or how we can do this so let's come to the first you need to go to the production and then open your environment and check your table if your production environment table has some production data then your first case first step is to download or export the data into the excel right now i'm not doing because you already know how to do the export and importing of data to the dataverse table from your excel so let an example you first need to export the data of your production table later what you can do you will go back to your development environment and you will simply go to the columns every place whenever you are utilizing this column only the schema name is being utilized so you need to do something that it should hold the decimal values and schema name remains the same if you try to create a new column with the same name then it won't let you because the same name is already there so what you will do you simply click on this your column take the same display name and then you simply delete this delete from this environment this is my development environment okay so it says this one is my i try to delete what happened it has some dependencies you then you need to check where it has been utilized okay so it's this column is utilized in some views and some forms also what you can do you will simply go to this table let's go to the form and then main form edit a new tab and then you just need to remove that column from your form to remove its dependency we'll simply click here and then delete save and publish we come back to our table now we'll come to the views of this active view add in a new tab this publishing now we'll remove this from here also and save and publish now we come back to our table 
and then we'll try to delete this let's see whether it will allow us now or not so the approach that we are going to do is we will delete the existing column and create the new column with the same name so that the schema name remains the same we as on the production environment the column name the column is in the managed form so you can't do anything onto the production you can do anything everything on the development environment now i have deleted my column now i'll create a new column with the same name as load and then make it as of type my decimal save this now we can add these again to our forms and views okay before even adding to the your forms and views what do you need to do let me just remove that because if you just take the export of this solution now in the production it will say that the same column is been already there with the different data type so it won't let you to install or input your solution let let it again and then what i'll do i simply go back and just take the export of my solution from here what is inside the solution as a managed yes i want it to be a managed type export so what happened here is like i have deleted that column from my solution and now i'm just taking the export of that okay so i might need to pause this video while it while it export it okay now it's back now i can simply download my solution it has downloaded now i'll go to my production environment and then i'll simply try to import my solution which i just exported select this one open it and then hit next right now in my production i have that column okay as it's the updated version so yes import it now while it is importing the solution into my production environment i'll go back to my development environment and then in my product table i will create that column new column with the same name text of type decimal save now i'll go to customize my added views and forms of my development environment let me check what is happening in my production it's currently importing okay now here i will add into my view and here i will add that to my form and then save and publish save and publish it has saved and published now i'll go back to my development environment and then again i will take the export of my solution but this time i have that column with the decimal data type i'll take the export as of type manage because in my production i need this managed environment export it let me check what is happening on my on the production is st still it is importing okay let it import only okay it has imported so it will take some time to refresh maybe this one is our production moment okay Yo, so my solution has been imported to my production environment in the managed form let me see do i have that column or not as you can see it's the managed environment so i can't add it anything 
if I open this, if I go to my columns, I don't have this load column. Okay. Now, if I go back, I can still see the data. Okay. Because the data was already there in my production table. I go back to my development environment and already taken the export of that and downloaded this. This time, in this export, I have that column as a decibel data type. Now I go back to my production environment and then I'll again import the downloaded solution zip file. This one will have that column in the decimal format. Now attach this next. Yes, it's the updated version now it will take a little time to input and in the meantime just pause this video now my solution is imported into my production environment now let me try to refresh this and go to the manage type test and then product table and if i try to see i should have this column load and now it is in the decimal form so if you have already taken the export of your data you can directly import here using this import from your excel if you don't need any data, then that approach is enough. And no matter at what place you have used this column, but if you followed this approach, all places would be automatically configured with the new column now. So that's how we can change the column data type on the production. It's like we first need to delete the sol column from our development environment then we will deploy the solution without that column into the production later we again create the same column with the new data type with the same name and then we will take the export of that solution and deploy it to the production again and then we will get all configuration automatically set in. so that's all in this video i hope you understood this well so thank you everyone